Hey code forces, how are you? Third, your server is crashing every other day, huh? Yeah, yeah, I am fine. Yeah, because uh, 35k coders from all around the world register for contests on code forces. And by the way, how many coders register for your contest? 10k or 12k? Huh? 20k. It is 20k. 20k people register for my contest. And I give more quality questions than you. What quality questions? You have only 3k questions. Look, I have 18k problems. 18k. You understand? 18k problems. Out of those 18k problems, 17k are outdated. So whenever placement season comes, everyone switches to lead code. I have 3k problems only, but those 3k are evergreen. Those are remembered. For placement preparation, people also use code courses. It's a myth. By the way, enough debating with an outdated platform like code forces. Enough. Yes, yes, yes. Enough arguing with a narrow minded platform who can't think beyond placement. Now, suppose you have just now started learning any coding language, be it C, Java, or anything. At this point of time, you don't know many of the things. I don't know many of the things. You just know basic. Uh, variables, functions, for loop, while loop, just, just simple things you know. At this point of time, code forces 800 related problems can be of great help to you because a lot of these questions don't require any specific use of data structure and algorithm. All they need is basic input, output and some processing. And once you start getting addicted to seeing that green accepted on your wall, it just pushes you forward to code more and more. So once you are done with learning language, the next step will be learning about data structures like array, strings, linked list, tag, queue, binary tree, graph and whatnot. And next, you will also be learning about algorithms like dynamic programming. And at this point of time, you will need to practice more targeted questions. For this, lead code is the best. We have also created one placement preparation tracker wherein we have selected questions from lead code, GFG and interview bit which you can use to grow in a more structured fashion. And at this point of time, you can also start giving contest, not for competing purposes but for getting exposure. At this point of time, code forces division 3, division 4 contest will be of great help and at the same time lead code weekly and bi-weekly contest will be of great help. Try giving at least one contest a week. Now, once you are done with learning data structures and algorithms and you are going for the final kill, that is the job preparation. At this point of time, your main focus should be on two things. First thing, revising what all you have already solved. The second part should be focused on doing random problems and when doing random problems you should focus more on contests try giving at least three contests a week and at this point of time try solving code forces division 2 contest and uh, i don't say that you need to solve up to level d but try up solving up to level d questions and also lead code weekly and bi-weekly contests are of great help if you are preparing for placement and if you are having difficulties in doing this we have a great news for you all we are coming up with 75 contest challenge don't know about it check in the i button and in the pin comment we have a great news coming for all of you so if you enjoyed the video do give it a like share with your friends and 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 if lead code and code forces were to stand in an election whom would you vote for remember nota is not an option and to comment it out, I am reading all your comments. Tab tak ke liye, keep coding, take care, jai.